Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Pay Money Wubby. Pay Money Wubby has done what very few people have done in Magic the Gathering, and that's bring new people to the game. And these new content creators from Meat Canyon to Penguin Zero. Peng uh, Meat Canyon is, in case you don't know, he's done a great Logan Paul. He basically is an animator, and he makes these really short, very avant-garde cartoons uh if you've ever seen his uh it's he's on youtube you can go search him up he's very recognizable his art style is quite recognizable in terms of you know if you see a video from him, him you know it's definitely from him it's not from anyone else right it is from him so that is meat canyon right and he's out here playing magic he's out here opening beta packs of all things so that's fun. Uh, that's definitely something that I think in the general sense as influencers, we're right now in the influencer boon. When COVID happened, if you collect sports cards, you know everyone from Drake. Drake, yes, that gambling dude. He was now known for uh, gambling with crypto online. He actually wanted to do a lot of Flawless, which is the top end product uh, it was NBA flawless, and they were going to break a million dollars of this uh, particular very high end product together. And so you you had influencers like Drake for sports cards. You had uh, a lot of you know Mike Rosenberg, uh, fanatics bought a lot of companies at this time. What I'm saying is you had a lot of who's who, and they're all uh, Derek Jeter created a vault company for car. I mean, even athletes themselves were really getting into sports cards. These are, all, of course, all influencers, right? Then you had Logan Paul with Pokemon, and that was huge. Uh, regardless of how you feel about Logan, he is a huge name in the industry for Pokemon. And without Logan Paul, I don't think Pokemon becomes as large as it eventually becomes. So you got Logan Paul. Now Magic the Gathering, what influencers did we have to counter the Logan? Well, at the exact same time, Magic thought, hey, you know what influencer everyone will rally towards? Her name is Arna Buccelli, and see, he, uh, they, them is a non-binary. That will be our influencer, and that's how we are going to attract mostly white males to our game. Again, the demographics of Magic the Gathering, I believe regardless of what Wizard Co. says, is most of Magic players are probably white and they're probably male. Cis male, if, if that makes a difference to you. So we had all these uh, feel-good moments and social justice moments in Magic, but it did not translate well. In fact, uh, it translated incredibly poorly, and it should be obvious why it translated so poorly, because they were not entertaining. Like when you are trying to get entertainment, when you're trying to get someone who is fun and they look like they would be fun to open packs and they got paid an entire salary. So I don't want to take anything away from this. These people got paid a salary. No joke, no full stop. They got paid and there were multiple members. I think there was what? There was 64 or 65 with special invites, and the special invites, now they all have OnlyFans, right? Every special invite is either now an employee of Wizards of the Coast, making $150,000 a year, or they have special invites. But at no point in time did any of these people actually show, and I, I'm being 100, I'm not being for CSIS, I, I'm being 100% with you. At no point in time did these people actually show they love the game. Because I think, and I feel that they didn't they didn't actually love the game and that is a big problem and the reason that's such a big problem is people can people can tell it's you know people can tell you don't have to be a genius to figure this out right um, whether or not someone actually enjoys magic the gathering or doesn't so you had a bunch of people they were supposed to stream they even went to uh take like streamer lessons or whatever Again, it didn't work because they didn't like the game. They actively hated the game to the point that they banned my favorite artist for her opinions on Twitter. 
even though many of them, uh, including Aaron Bruchelli, not Aaron Bruchelli, is it Autumn? There's Autumn Bruchelli, Aaron something was uh, the leader of getting people banned. She herself was banned for being a flat out racist and we will never see her again. Actually, let me look for her name, Aaron MTG Magic Mikes. She used to do my Magic Mikes. Aaron Campbell, Campbell. And yep, uh, she's gone and I don't think she will ever come back. And that's good for our game. She was very hateful. She was very, very hateful. One of the most, in my opinion, um, one of the most destructive forces in Magic the Gathering. And she's gone since 2017. Aaron Campbell has told opponents to die in a fire and has engaged in blank harassment of fellow players. This cannot be tolerated by Wizards of the Coast, who has a responsibility to ensure players are free from this appalling behavior at their events. So, you know, now she is a nobody now. She was a very, very popular member. I'm sure Wizards of the Coast would love to give her a contract to be an employee, but obviously things turned in the direction where they probably, probably couldn't do that. Uh, and they're, you know, again... Wizards of the Coast is nothing but diplomatic in how it handles. Like if it doesn't make them money, they don't. They don't want it. They don't want it. So back to um, kind of the premise of really what I'm, I'm. I'm trying to say this out here and kind of get this idea out here is yes, we did not have the influential firepower that we had. We spent a hundred million dollars on like nobodies. Just absolute nobodies. And it really put us behind sports cards, Pokemon cards, especially Pokemon cards at the time with Logan Paul and his cast of characters, if you will. You go to Collecticon and it is almost always Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Hey, you want some more Pokemon? We got you some more Pokemon. I would love to see that from Magic. I would love to see something like Collecticon, but for Magic the Gathering, I think that would be very cool. And at the end of the day, I think we're heading that way. That you go to the convention, you see Pay Money Wubby, why not? I mean, that sounds like a fun time to me. So I think the influencers, uh, def all you need really is one of them, right? You just needed that one Pay Money Wubby guy. And then suddenly you got Penguin Zero on, you know, doing more Magic content. And you got ev even beyond Penguin Zero, you got Meat Canyon, who's another big... YouTuber, uh, and why not? Why not bring all the YouTubers, right? I have. Uh, I was actually going to do like one video a day, but now I think the influencers, like my views, are better than they normally are, which is shocking, right? But it is what it is. Anyway, guys, 